where you need to go in life and your sense of direction are really the criteria for where you need to be physically. It's not about a beauty of a place or how close it is to nature or whether it has the nightlife or the daylight that you want. It is about whether that is the place you need to be now and where you need to build the next stage of your life. This is a fundamental deep question that goes beyond your desires, your preferences, even your romance about a certain place. Because you could choose the most beautiful place imaginable, and if that's not where your life needed to be, it would be a dead zone for you. It would be empty. You might try to make it wonderful and everything you want it to be, but it wouldn't be true. It all comes down, then, to finding your direction in life. And that's a navigational emphasis. It's not like you know where you're ultimately going to be, because that's very unlikely. But are you in the right place at this right time? And will you know if that needs to change? Will you know if you come to a point where the road ends, given where you are, and you need to make a change? Because where you land physically and who you're associated with are two very critical things that will determine your ability to experience what you know and to follow what you know. For example, if you're in the wrong locale, you're not going to meet the critical people you need to meet. They're not going to be there. So the attributes of the place itself become very secondary, almost unimportant here, except insofar as they serve your sense of purpose and direction. People romance places as well as people. And that's setting your life according to criteria that's really very meaningless. You were born with a higher purpose. That means you have a destiny in life. A destiny means you have a direction you must find and follow, step by step, stage by stage. Sensing if you are in the right place at the right time for this moment is very important. And also realizing whether that place is temporary or permanent for you. This is why it is so important not to settle down, not to plant roots, not to establish yourself in a place until you have a real sense of where you're going in life and a real sense if that place that you're choosing is really appropriate and necessary given this greater criteria for your life. God has put knowledge within you to guide you and to lead you towards your true direction and to be able to carry you forward within that direction given all the persuasions of the world, all the attractions of the world. It is your knowledge then that will be your navigator, will help you to choose where you need to go, when you need to go, and who you need to meet. If you will follow this, you will have the greatest opportunity to discover the real meaning and purpose of your life and the contribution that you have come here to give.